10 o'clock last night. Voting has just finished and we get the first idea of what the people have decided. The result of exit polls, that's when people are asked who they voted for as they leave a polling station, flash up on BBC buildings in London. And they say that the Labour Party has won the election and that its leader, Keir Starmer, will be Prime Minister. But before we know for sure, all those votes need to be counted. All across the country, votes are rushed to places like this. I'm here in Burnley, in the northwest of England, at this count centre. This is where the ballot boxes, with those important slips of paper, with those important votes, are brought to be counted. Volunteers work through the night to count and add up all the votes so that a winner can be announced. It's a big job and it's all done by hand. The boxes are emptied and all the voting slips are checked and tallied up. There are thousands of votes to be counted. It's all super exciting. So the polls close at 10 o'clock. Then we have 52 polling stations in Burnley and 52 cars will come to the count venue, which is here and where we will separate them into individual piles for the candidates and then count the number of votes for each candidate. It's a similar process all throughout the country. Accuracy is the most important factor in this process. It's a nervous time for the politicians who are waiting to hear if they've done enough to win the vote. Here in Burnley, they're represented by a Conservative MP. That's Rishi Sunak's team. They won power back in 2019 at the last general election. But the question is, will they still be in power after the count has finished tonight? Oliver David Ryan, Labour and Cooperative Party, 12,598. And I do hereby declare that Oliver David Ryan is duly elected. So the votes have been counted and the winner has been announced here in Burnley as the Labour candidate. That's Keir Starmer's party. That means people in this area have voted for a new person to represent them in the UK government. It was a Conservative candidate, but because the Labour candidate got more votes than anyone else, they'll now take over as Burnley MP. That's how our voting system works. Uh, so I have uh, just, literally just, uh, been elected the Member of Parliament for Burnley, Paddy M and Bryfield. And my job now is to represent people in this constituency, the 75,000 people that live here. And I want to go down to Westminster, the seat of government in the UK, work with the incoming government, hopefully a Labour government, to deliver on the promises I've made for people here during the election campaign. It's 4am, the count has finished, a win has been announced and everyone's starting to pack up. But what's happening elsewhere? Well, just like in Burnley, across the country, more and more Labour politicians were announced as the winners after the votes had been counted in different areas. It means it has been a very good result for Keir Starmer and his Labour Party. And even more so, it was a bad night for Rishi Sunak and his Conservatives. Some important members in his top team in government started to lose their seats. Former Prime Minister Liz Truss lost her seat. It's very rare that someone who has been a Prime Minister loses in this way and shows how bad an election it has been for the Conservatives. Rishi Sunak had this to say. The Labour Party has won this general election and I have called Sir Keir Starmer to congratulate him on his victory. Today power will change hands in a peaceful and orderly manner, with goodwill on all sides. That is something that should give us all confidence in our country's stability and future. But what about around the UK? Well, in Scotland, Labour also did well, winning lots of seats from the Scottish National Party, the SNP. In Wales, it was a similar story. Labour doing well with the Conservatives not winning a single seat. In Northern Ireland, Sinn Féin became the party with the most seats. They want Northern Ireland to leave the UK and become part of the Republic of Ireland. But Sinn Féin politicians won't sit in the UK Parliament because they don't want to be a part of it. For other parties, the Liberal Democrats celebrated getting lots of new MPs. It was also a good night for Reform UK. Led by Nigel Farage, they won seats for the first time. As the results have come in throughout the night, it's become clear that Labour have won this general election. That means they will form a new government to lead the UK. And that as the leader of the Labour Party, Keir Starmer will become the UK's new Prime Minister. We did it! <laughs> you campaigned for it. You fought for it, you voted for it, and now it has arrived. Change begins now. 